morning, Pastor Steve here. Romans chapter 12, 17 through 21. Repay no one evil for evil. Have regard for good things in the sight of all men. If it is possible, as much as depends on you, live peaceably with all men. Beloved, do not avenge yourself, but rather give place to wrath. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, said the Lord. Therefore, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him drink. In so doing, you'll heap coals of fire on his head. Don't be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. By its very nature, forgiveness costs somebody something. Tim Keller, in his book, The Reason for God, illustrates it sort of like this. Say you loan your neighbor your car, and as he's backing out of your driveway, he runs into your big fence and wrecks it. Now, you have several choices. You can ask him to pay for the damages, or you can pay for them yourself. Either case, it costs somebody something to clear the record. Forgiveness does not mean that uh, what was done against you is right. But it does mean transferring the debt that is owed over to God. Verse 19, Beloved, don't avenge yourselves, rather give place to wrath, for his written vengeance is mine, I will repay, said the Lord. This does cost me. It costs me my right to get even. Verse 17 says, don't uh, repay evil for evil. In essence, unforgiveness says, God, I have a much clearer idea of what needs to be done here than you do. I know the heart of this character better than you do. I know his motives. And I know how to collect my pound of flesh better than you do. You say, well, I never say that. But refusing to forgive anyone, and by the way, I struggle with this, you're saying that very thing. So forgiveness costs. It costs, but the price you pay is the toll of the path to peace and casts the burden on the Lord. You ponder that, Pastor Steve.